Hey guys, I decided to do a black and white for a change. I am, uh, I'm doing great. I had surgery this morning. I'm still numb on top, uh, a little sore. It's not bad, it's not bad at all. Um, I'm taking my ibuprofen 800 and my antibiotics. Um, my gums are a little tender, um, but I'm doing more of my warm salt water wrenches, and that really, really helps. Um, I'm about to go up and um, rest, get some normal rest tonight. Um, one of the other girls that's with us is having her surgery tomorrow morning. She's having full three on six done, upper and lower. She's having full um, full three on six, upper and lower, um, tomorrow morning. And I will be taking her. So I need to get some rest so that um, I can be there so to support her. She's really, really helped me um, with the other girls that are with us today so that I could concentrate on my surgery. And I can't thank her enough. Jen, um, if you see this, thank you, thank you, thank you for all of your help. Um, I couldn't have done this without you, so thank you. You're going to do great tomorrow. Okay, but um, I am, there's a shadow. I am in Utah. I am in Salt Lake City. Um, I went to a Smile Clinic Utah um, and had my surgery. There is also smile clinics in Boston, Arizona, and Denver. Um, I have had the wonderful and incredible opportunity to meet the doctors from uh, Arizona and Denver. They are in this week um, doing some observing. Um, they, were, they were actually there today for my surgery. And I'm telling you what, man, all these doctors are in incredible they're just great great people um you're not going to find a more compassionate um dentist than one of the dentists at the smile clinic and that's just the truth but um for my group on facebook i have seen so many horror stories um of people that have um had uh, different implant procedures done at other um, dentist offices across the U.S. There's been a lot of patients that have had trouble. Um, I don't know, you know, I don't know. I don't know what it is, but I know that it, it caused me to have severe distrust, and it took me a long time to find a dentist that I could trust to do my lower uh, teeth and um, and do this upper conversion. And I feel very grateful. I'm very passionate about Dr. Roberts. I'm very passionate about Dr. Maxwell, Dr. Sorry, I cut off. I'm very passionate about Dr. Maxwell, Dr. Kevin from Denver Smile Clinic, or Smile Clinic Colorado. I'm very passionate about Dr. Kim from Smile Clinic Arizona. I've had the chance to meet and talk to him. Man, these guys are the best of the best um, when it comes to doing full mouth restoration and implant procedures. Um, if you are looking, still looking at doing this, please reach out to me. Don't, um, if you go for a consultation somewhere else, don't make a decision. Um, right off the bat come home and think about it and if you're not you know if you're not sure if you're having doubts i wouldn't go through with it and i would wait until you find a surgeon that you feel like you can really trust this is a lot of money this is an investment you got one shot at this most of us don't have thousands and thousands of dollars to pay a surgeon to do this and if something goes wrong have to come up with another 40,000 to fix the mistakes of the other doctor. So make sure that um, 
you are confident in your decision. Hey guys, I am back at the office. My upper gut lip is still numb, but I am here for my post-op visit uh, with Dr. Roberts. Um, today is also gym surgery, so um, I think from what the, what I can tell now, I love the teeth, but I think I want the top ones to be a little longer and my bottom ones to be a little shorter because I'm so used to having that artificial gum line. I don't know. What do you guys think? Like I said, I'm still numb. So it's kind of hard for me to smile um, fully. Okay, so while she's got my x-ray pulled up, um, I'll show you guys my x-ray, what my x-ray looks like. Let's turn this around. So my lower implants are all towards the front. Um, upper, they're pretty scattered. Dr. Roberts is an amazing implant surgeon, the best. I had barely, I had barely any gum left on top from where I had those mini implants. So I'm, I'm shocked and my back teeth have been missing for a long time. So I'm shocked he was able to get um, the implants placed like he did, but very happy. Need a few adjustments done to the teeth. And I already know one big thing I want, and I want the top teeth a little longer. And the bottom teeth shorter. But that's not something that's gonna be hard for them to do. I mean, these are temp the tops are temporary. Uh, my bottoms are zirconia permanent. He did change those out yesterday and put a new um, zirconia permit permanent on to match my uppers but what I'll do I can have him shave those th the upper temporary the teeth can be made longer and then the lower he can just trim those and to make them shorter hey guys I just got back to the hotel from the smile clinic um, I am just got done eating some lunch it's bright out here it's kind of warm today with the Sun <clears throat> just got, got done eating some soup. Um, I am just kind of waiting around to see how Jen's doing. Uh, she's in surgery now, so I'll go back and get her when she gets done. Um, what you're going to see um, in the video uh, that I'm putting up now is just where I've recorded bits and pieces of things. Um, throughout the day since Monday. Today's Wednesday. So um, I want to show you, I guess, one more thing before I end the video, and that is the view that I've got here. Look at this view. Let's see if we can... Okay, look at this view I got here. Look at those beautiful snow-capped mountains. I'm right outside the hotel here. Um, there's some behind me. Let's show you behind. Okay. Some mountains over here. This is the uh, a hotel I'm staying at. This is the Staybridge um, Hotel in Midvale. Um, the reason why... Um, let me turn you around. Okay, the reason why um, I chose this is because the Smile Clinic is moving offices. Um, they are in Taylorsville, Utah now. They are moving over to Midvale. And um, let me show you what the new, uh, where the new office is. It's right across from Saybridge. Okay, here's the hotel. I'm right in the middle. And here is the new office but that's it I'm gonna I'm gonna go ahead and end it now um, I'm, I'm feeling okay um, but my gums are a little sore so and you guys I am so sorry 
you're gonna see the side of my head in this video where I've lost my hair. Um, it's, you know, it's always something. <laughs> so it's always something. I'll check in with you guys uh, next week, okay? Um, and let you know how I'm feeling. You guys have a great day.